capuchin monkeys often in large groups of 10 to 35 individuals with within the forest, although they can easily adapt to places colonized by humans. The capuchins have discrete hierarchies. Usually a single male will dominate the group and he will have primary rights to mate with the females of the group. However, the white-headed capuchin groups are led by both an alpha male and an alpha female. on the ability of Capricans to use money. After several months of training, the monkeys began exhibiting behavior considered to reflect an understanding of the concept of a medium of exchange that were previously believed to be restricted to humans, such as responding rationally to price shocks. They showed the same behavior to avoid losses demonstrated by human subjects and investors. with a reflection, females gazed into their own eyes and made friendly gestures such as lip smacking and swaying. Males made more eye contact than with strangers or familiar monkeys but reacted with signs of confusion or distress, such as squealing, curling up on the floor or trying to escape.
Capuchins were once referred to as nature's butlers, helping hands train future monkeys to assist as monkey helpers, similar to guide dogs in 2010. The United States revised its definition of service animal under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Non-human primates are no longer recognized as service animals.